bold our DIY running locally on your computer and we are using DeepSeek R1 as our large language model. In this video, you are going to learn how to download and install bold our DIY locally on your computer and we are going to use DeepSeek R1 and we are going to test how good or bad bold our DIY is with DeepSeek R1. This will be a completely beginner friendly guide. So if you have not used bold our DIY or you are not aware of DeepSeek R1, so I will actually going to give you a complete detailed step by step guide. We are also going to test the performance of bold our DIY and DeepSeek R1 in comparison with bold new so by the end of this video you should be able to conclude that should you use bold art diy with deep seek r1 rather than using bold art new or should you just like buy a subscription for bold art new because performance of bold art new is of course impressive so before we start this video please do not forget to subscribe this youtube channel our goal is to reach 100,000 subscribers before 30th of june 2025 all right first thing first you need to go to bold.diy just open this link and then it will actually open the github repository of bold.diy after that what you need to do you need to simply just scroll down and then go to the setup and installation guideline so if you're completely beginner you have never installed bolt or diy before on your computer and you have never installed any sort of ide on your computer you are like completely beginner uh, in programming so make sure that you download and install node.js on your computer so make sure that you go to this url and then download and install node.js if you're using windows download for windows and then simply just install 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 and like next 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 and it will just install and make sure that it automatically set up environment variables for you so make sure that there's a separate video for that i'll actually leave a link in description so you can just watch that video but yeah make sure that you have installed node.js on your computer already next thing that you need to do you need to simply just clone this repository locally on your computer so what you need to do for that you need to simply just copy this uh, url of this repository from here and then what you need to do next is simply just go to a folder just choose any folder on your computer i'm actually going to create a folder inside my this folder i'll just call this folder bolt dot diy i want to actually put a dot because it might have a conflict with uh, some of the dependencies so i'll just open this and next what you need to do you need to simply just right click and click on open in terminal if you don't get this option on your computer or if you're using mac you can directly open your terminal if you're on pcs just simply open your cmd command prompt and then go to your cd just write cd copy link of this uh, directory paste it here and then just open that next thing that you once you are inside your folder and this is how it is showing next thing that you need to do you need to simply just write git clone just write this git clone and after that just copy this hub repository url and then paste it here and then simply just press enter now it is cloned and installed next thing that you need to do you need to simply just go to your folder once again or you can simply just like do cd and then go to that folder project url from here or simply just go to this folder just open this folder once again inside your terminal you can do directly from here by entering cd and then folder name or you can simply just if you want to keep everything simple just open inside terminal this particular folder so now once this folder is opened inside your terminal next thing that you need to do you need to know start following these installation guidelines from here so what you need to do next you need to simply just run this command from here so this this particular command actually git checkout main run this command here your branch is now updated to main branch okay next thing that you need to do you need to simply just run this command now pnpm pnpm install make sure that you write pnpm install and then just let it install dependencies locally for this project on your computer it will take just a couple of minutes after a few minutes the installation has been completed and now we can actually run this project to run this project what you need to do you need to go back here and then copy this command from here just copy pnpm run dev paste it here and then let's just run this project and now just in a few seconds it will give us a working url that we can actually get on a local host so Let's just wait for that. All right, so here is the localhost URL. What you need to do, you need to simply just copy this URL and then paste it inside your Canary Chrome Canary browser. It has they have actually provided that in the installation guide here. So make sure that you download Chrome Canary. Yeah, just download this Chrome Canary browser from here. Download from here. So after that, just open Chrome Canary browser and then paste this URL here. And then after that, now it should open Bolt Art New locally. All right, so this is how it will open. Now we need to find our environment variables tab here, but it's not there. So what you need to do most of the times whenever you open it and it don't give you any environment or environment variable related thing or just like shows this white screen, you need to simply just refresh. So after refresh, 
it should just refresh and give you this now you can set up your own like api keys here in here just select deep seek and after that we can use deep seek chat we can use deep seek coder reasoner so let's just go with deep seek reasoner and then let's just provide it an api key to get deep seek api key you need to sign up on deep seek website just go to deepseek.com and after that just click on api platform this option here and after that what you need to do you need to just top up maybe like as little as two dollars just top up some balance inside there and after that once you have topped up then like you need, you need to top up some some sort of like money here to to start using it so two dollars are more than enough for you to like and maybe develop a few projects after that just click on api key click on create new and then let's just name it as poll dot please not try to copy my api key because i'll just remove this one all right so next thing just paste that here enter it here and now we can actually start using deep seek r1 directly in here so now to test it to to make sure that it is working fine let's just create a landing page so what you need to do let's just create a like a ask deep seek to create or details about the landing page that you want to create i'm going to use my speech to text option here for the prompt you can use this speech to text on your windows if you're using windows by simply pressing windows key on your on your keyboard and then pressing h and this is how it will pop up and then simply just click on here make sure that you have selected this text bar here let's just start that again all right i want to design a landing page for my habit tracker app i'm building a habit tracker app for ios please create a very detailed prompt to create this landing page include all of the details like what sort of fonts you wish we should choose and any other necessary details that there should be on this landing page i know it's a very bad prompt but you can just like yeah, an easier way to start so let's just click on think and then after that enter and now it should give you a very detailed prompt we're gonna just copy that prompt and then paste that inside our all right let's copy this prompt from here and then paste it in here and let's just mention that we want to create please create landing page for my habit tracker app create this landing page in next year use tailwind css all right let's press enter and see how long it takes to develop this project all right it has started creating the files it has just created package.json file then now it is creating page.esx file page.jsx file actually it's not using typescript cool all right so now it has created an app directory that's fine let's see what it creates in first iteration show the preview but let's see i mean how it comes of it i mean so far i mean the speed is okay the way actually we we create any landing page in bold.new bold.new is super fast and more advanced but yeah bold.io is a bit slow we know that okay so for some reason it's stuck now what i need to do i need to simply just refresh it and see if it just carries on installing those dependencies or not i still can't see the preview on preview section okay let's modify the configuration to ensure proper port exposure and next next or just server setup for web containers environment okay fine 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 let's see what it does okay the preview should now appear automatically once the server starts no the preview is still not working okay let's try using white instead of next.js as it is more compatible with web containers environment okay fine all right so now it is going to use white instead of next.js so white if you know is another framework a js based framework so yeah don't worry about that just let's just like have our preview that's that's our main point okay this configuration okay cool no preview still i still can't see any preview please make any modifications which is required and show me the preview all right you know what let's just try a different project and if it still doesn't work then let's try it on bold.new and see like even with the most advanced reasoning model bold.di is still not working as it should let's create a new project let's start a new project please create a landing page for my habit tracker app create this project in next yes you can use tailwind css all right so we are actually going to give us shorter prompt this time and see how it responds maybe because we have seen previously that with long prompts it has a problem it just like gets confused with an in longer prompts meanwhile while we are doing that while we are actually going to wait for it to create something let's just uh, go to bold.new give that and then see oh, okay hold on let me just log in continues with kit all right so hopefully bold.new can actually make that quickly okay still nothing i can't see the preview it has created something yeah this is what it has created nice very nice landing page all right let's see what bold.new has created but you still setting up project it is creating all of the required files it is creating a proper project here okay so yeah this landing page is very simple please create a more modern landing page with different sections also create a section where there should be an option 
to download. This is what uh, Bolt Art New has created in first go with one prompt that we gave it here. Of course, it's not impressive. Of course, I need to like make a lot of changing, but this is what Bolt Art New has created. So even with like words, best reasoning model, I consider DeepSeek R1 as best reasoning model and cheapest. Of course, it is unable to create what we need. And this is what it has created in first go in Bolt Art New. All right. Let's just give it a benefit of doubt and let's just ask DeepSeek to make that prompt shorter. Please make this prompt shorter, just a few sentences. Let's just try to give it a short prompt. So just go back, start a new chat, choose DeepSeek chat. And then after that, let's just start. So now it is just setting up the project and let's see what it creates this time. We have give like a very basic detail of design. So hopefully design should be fine this time. All right. Okay. So there was a terminal error. Let's just click on ask bolt and now it should resolve that error and at least give us some sort of preview some sort of preview we need come on no preview it shows no preview available i think there is some sort of preview it's completely blank all right it has created very basic script something yeah i mean no let's try uh deep sea coder deep sea coder and then give it a prompt that prompt that we copied from there this time we're going this time we're choosing deep sea coder and then see if it does any good no preview available okay fine let's just ask it should fix that error and hopefully this time we can have some sort of landing page okay no preview available it is not showing any preview in preview section it shows no preview available all right come on man why i mean why anyone will waste time with bolt or diy literally i mean even we like we did another video where i and the title of that video was why bolt.eos sucks so why i don't know okay it should be able to now run and show a preview let me just refresh yep that same thing in preview this is what it shows please fix it all right still nothing on preview let's just try to refresh again and see if the, if it just shows anything or just maybe reinstall any of the dependencies but so far there is nothing on preview there's just like this html code in there there is nothing really let's give it another try let's just give it another try let's just create another project let's just create a basic calculator app and see what it does it should just create a basic html code maybe one html code no extra dependencies nothing just one simple html file what's wrong now i mean why is taking time is this just like trying to remove some calculated app files and then trying to run another command to like create a new like folder and then trying to like create a new file okay sure but why i mean just it's an empty project i mean come on oh fuck. let's try again let's just copy this command let's just keep trying until unless we are able to create something this time let's just use deep seek chat and then enter and see what it does i believe it is going to be stuck there okay fine that, that's it i mean I'm, I'm i'm not going to waste any more time jeez christ okay cool let's just let's close